very strong score, uh, really by any measure. Uh, but actually, if you look at 26%, at, at which is around the score that they that they got here in the in the first round, the Left Coalition, it's not that much different from the overall score of the Left back in 2017. The big difference this time around, of course, is the fact that they've united. They had this coalition, and what that means is that you have far more Left candidates that are now in the running in the second round, over 350 seats in which the left has candidates, and that's going to translate ultimately uh, into more seats. And so, uh, speaking with people here in, in Marseille, which is the seat that Jean-Luc Mélenchon, his soon-to-be former seat, uh, has more of a week, about a week left on, on this seat, uh, speaking here with supporters, there's a sense that they have a chance to have a majority uh, in the National Assembly, which is something that was, frankly, unthinkable uh, really just, just weeks ago. Um, that would be the, the ultimate goal. And then, if they can't get that, a sort of second prize, which which we were hearing about just earlier would be a situation in which Macron does not have an absolute majority, um, if he, in which he does not reach 289 deputies. That could complicate his agenda. That's sort of the second prize. And then I think finally you'd have to, to look at the fact that the left here at the end of the day has set out to, they've achieved one of their, their most basic goals, which was to ensure that each of these parties has representation in parliament. That looks to be the case. The communists, the greens, the socialists, and La France Insoumise all set to have uh, shares in parliament, uh, regardless of what happens, uh, looks like uh, next Sunday.